It's good afternoon. It's about 91 degrees out. It's Tuesday, April 16th, and this is Alan Smith bringing you today's great tour of Southwest Florida uh, daily homes and foreclosures, covering the areas of Naples, uh, Bonita Springs, Fort Myers, Fort Myers Beach, Cape Coral, and last but certainly not least, Sanibel and Captiva Islands. We've lived in uh, Sanibel and Captiva, uh, Cape Coral, and Fort Myers. I know all those. Uh, area as well and is a leading leading agent and number one buyers agent in town I know all where all the top best buys are where the best foreclosures and the best short sales are there's nobody that tours more homes and has their pulse on the market like we do hey speaking of the market you know the real estate market is red hot and uh, truly I'm submitting an article today to truly that they asked me to do I'm gonna put it up on the screen for you right here so you can follow along with me but basically if you're like most people you've probably already heard about the incredible turnaround in the real estate market well bottom line the market is red hot I'll tell you buyers just purchasing properties at a record pace I heard the other day somebody told me that they felt they must have missed the bottom by a couple of months well I hate to tell you but the bottom in our market was actually March of 2009 2010 2011 and 2012 have all been record years here in Southwest Florida I'll be doing a, uh, a follow-up on the first quarter market report as well as the March market report for both Lee County which is Fort Myers Cape Coral Sanibel area and Collier County which is Naples but here's a hint the Naples marketplace saw a 17% increase in the median home prices just in the uh, month of March and last year they saw a 40% increase uh, last year Lee County saw over a 20% increase uh, but I'm gonna save the best for last and I'm gonna show you really what's going on but you know what buyers are really purchasing properties at a record pace honestly now more at a frenzied pace just last week my team took seven listings and all seven were sold and in escrow within a few days it's a good market for buyers because interest rates are still at all-time record loans we have over 800 loan programs both for people of US citizens or foreign nationals for foreign investor loans so if that's something that you need to do make sure you give us a call by the way I'm gonna be doing a report on the major mistakes that I see on people uh, who are getting mortgages and one of those is using your local bank wherever you're at whether or not you're a business professional and you have all your banking through your bank or, or whatever Wells Fargo and Bank of America are by far the absolute nightmarish worst we have banks down here local banks that like to invest in the local area that simply will close loans easily in two weeks 30 days at the max you try to get it Bank of America or or Wells Fargo to close anything within 45 days and every one that I've had in the past year with with either of those two have been simply nightmares and I got another one going on with Wells Fargo right now with a buyer of our uh, Sanibel loggerhead listing and uh, you know they're supposed to close by the first and I'll guarantee you that they will close by the first and they'll need extensions after extensions uh, it's simply uh, you know really should be a crime but that's the way the banks worse and you know what it's even better market for sellers as many of you know I have sold over 300 homes in my career already seven this year and I have a keen sense for opportunities and challenges in any marketplace as a potential seller you have a unique opportunity every well-priced home we list sells very quickly the only challenges that is you may have is you know whether or not you have to move too quickly folks I can tell you and I can sell your home in your marketplace within 30 days guaranteed and I don't really care if you're in Michigan or Ohio or Minnesota or Canada or California I get people all the time that email me that they're trying to sell their home and wherever it is uh, you know it's been on the market for months and they always say the market is so bad or what this sort of thing and those things aren't really true because the market is what the market is uh, if you want to sell your home you can easily sell your home within 30 days 60 days max and I'm more than happy to show you how I've done several videos to sellers and I'll guarantee you if you follow the ways and the things that I tell you to do you will sell your home because they're the exact things that I do that sell homes both in Washington State and in Florida so well 
You know, and no worries though, we have a solution for all that. Like I just told you, there are many ways you can get cash for selling your home now and not have to move until a later date. And that's a really good deal for you. So give me a call at 239-872-7736 and find out really how we sell so many homes. And if you have a home down here in Southwest Florida, we'd love to be able to sell it for you. If you have a home elsewhere that you're trying to sell, you know, give us a drop us a ring, give me a call and I'll walk you through exactly how to do it. If you're listening with another realtor, that's all right too. Usually we end up having to do the job of the other realtor on the other side of just about every one of our transactions uh, to try to get our clients' uh, you know, properties and transactions to sell smoothly. That's just part of the deal. We're used to it. We're more than happy to give you the best advice we can on getting your home sold wherever you may be trying to get it sold. Well, let's start with today's tour. Today's tour is a great mix of homes. I'm going to continue with yesterday's themes on showing you homes that are sold so you get an idea on what people are actually buying and the prop and the prices that they're paying for them. Let's start with this one. This is a great condo down on Be Barefoot Beach. It's unit 602. It's a three bedroom, two bath, 1800 square foot condo built in 1991. The asking price of this condo was 1.449. The actual selling price was 1.1 million. So it gives you a little idea what condos like this sell for. This is a sixth floor residence at the Bayfoot Beach Club. It's beautifully decorated in tasteful colors. It's a great location next to the pool and you'll enjoy all those great amenities of Barefoot Beach. Now this home here is actually in Fort Myers. This is an old Wedgwood Court. It's a three bedroom, three bath, 4,400 square foot home that was built in 2005 on 1.7 acres. This is a hidden secret of the South. You'll really appreciate this property. It's sheer enormity of the 2,486 covered outdoor area. It's ideal for any occasion with 12 seating room granite table, a fireplace, hot spa, 46 power jets. The fourth bedroom is now a media room with an HD Sony overhead projector with a 65 by 115 inch screen with Dolby digital surround sound as well as a pool table so you'll be able to watch all the games or the fights or whatever it is that you like to do as well as entertaining people and this would make a super super large uh, corporate estate rental home as well. This home here was offered at 959000 and right at that 98 point you know five percent price asking price this one sold at nine hundred and forty thousand folks homes are selling here at ninety nine percent of asking price on average that doesn't mean in every case because there's always a few homes that are overpriced that the seller moves down a little bit but I'm telling you if you work with us as a buyer we'll only show you the best buys and the best buys are always going to be the best price and those people aren't going to move very far off of their asking prices usually it's because they've already had to come down uh, and we beat up on them enough to get you the best price. This one here is a home out on Sanibel that we just sold. It's on Ferry Landing Drives, three bedroom, three bath, 2,900 square foot on one acre. This home here was listed at 979 and it actually sold for 860. This house is on the east end of Sanibel. It's got a view of the lighthouse and the east end of the village shops. It's a quaint tropical neighborhood tucked away in a very private lush vegetation type area. Ferry's Landing is an enclave of 18 old Florida style home, offers bay front and a very short walk to the beach. So it's on a great location. This home was totally updated throughout, as you see, as a wonderful tropical setting. And of course, it sold. All these homes here closed in the last 24 hours, by the way. This is another one in Bonita Springs. It's closed, barefoot circle, three bedroom, three bath, 2,400 square foot home, built in 1990. It was listed for $799. It sold for $750. And boy, I'll tell you what, this home enjoys the best of both worlds. Carefree condo living in a townhome atmosphere. It steps to the beach. It's an updated residence from the Gulf of Mexico with a spacious floor plan throughout and a well-appointed kitchen. And somebody there got themselves a great, great buy in the 750 number. Now this home here is in Sanibel. It's all an acre and a third. It's 2,200 square foot, three bedroom, three bath, built in 81 off of Joe Wood Drive. Now I showed this home several times and finally it sold. They were asking 760. It sold for 668. This is a beautiful old Florida style 3-3. It's located on owner on over an acre, like I said, of Sanibel's most prestigious beachfront communities, Gulf Ridge. It's located on a large lock that bats up to conservation, uh, conservation lands. The home offers secluded setting, deeded beach access, community pool, tennis courts, and a kayak launch, all kinds of great things. 
Just want to flip through some of these pictures here and show you a little bit of the things that this great area and home has to offer. This is the same area that we just sold a client another wonderful home in there uh, for, and I think that they're still in town doing some work on it, uh, fixing it up and, and turning it into their perfect piece of paradise. So if you're looking for a home on Sanibel and a Sanibel expert, I'd really love to help you out there. This is another home we sold out on Sanibel. This is on Wolfert Road. Uh, this is a three bedroom, three bath, sold in the last 24 hours and closed, 2,700 square foot home. It was listed for 740, sold at 665. This is an exquisite condo at a great price. This was the largest condo floor plan in the sanctuary at over 2,750 square foot of living area. It's got a Tommy Bahama style. It was beautifully furnished, decorated condo with breathtaking views of the 18th fairway and the lake from the oversized glass enclosed wraparound lanai. This one here included a family room, informal living, dining room, high ceilings. This is a great place and as you can see here the surroundings of this area is very nice. Pool, spa, gazebo, grill areas, you name it, had all the amenities that you'd love to, uh, to uh, partake of down here in the Sanibel area. Now this one's also on Sanibel off of Dimmick Drive, just closed uh, yesterday. Three bedroom, three bath, 2,500 square foot home on a quarter of an acre. This was a home I, I've tried to sell my last clients. They elected actually on a different one. This one was listed at 619. It sold for 605. This is a three bedroom, three bath with a loft, all wood and stone flooring. It's very European influenced fixtures and cabinetry. It was professionally decorated. Features lots of local and whimsical art with fun beachy colors. It had a rooftop deck offering breathtaking sunsets, beautifully enclosed pool and spa setting offering complete privacy. The elevator shaft of this home was in place, although there was no elevator there at that 605 sales number. So great opportunity here. Gives you a little idea. This is very common. This was a Best Buy property that we showed our clients. They just elected. They wanted a little more yard room and a little more room for the pool. And this property was one property off the main uh, main road uh, so you can hear road noise and whatsoever so but that's a good property it gives you a good idea this home is located in Fort Myers off of Sierra Palm Court it's a three bedroom three bath 3400 square foot home on a third of an acre it was listed for 599 it closed for 599 it's an out, absolutely outstanding value there was a huge price reduction and the furniture was included on this high quality custom built home it's located in one of southwest florida's most prestigious golf community heritage palms estate it's a bundled golf community it features 36 holes professionally designed in exquisite details throughout in this three bedroom three bath so really nice nice home as you can see by these photos Okay, this one here was listed at 520. It sold for 515. This was down on Fort Myers Beach off of Sterile Boulevard, Unit 702. This was on a wide stretch of beachfront properties. The amenities of this at the Gull Wing included the heated swimming pool, hot tub, tennis courts, barbecue grills. Plus, it had on site rental with a strong rental history, or we could rent it for you either way. This is a great three bedroom, two bath, 1700 square foot beachfront condo. Listed at 520, sold at 515. Now this one here is a home in Cape Coral off of Surfside. If you're familiar with Surfside, it's on Southwest Cape Coral. More or less some of the uh, more uh, asked for areas that I get on a third of an acre. It's a large home. It was 3,500 square foot, three bedroom, three bath. Built in 2007, it was listed for 545,000. It sold for 500,000. It had that Roman tub with the walk-through shower on the back, and his and hers vanities on either side. This home here had high soaring ceilings in it. Second floor overlooked the canal with a spiral stairway to the custom pool and spa. The kitchen, of course, had the wood cabinets, did not have the screen that so many people want. But then again, I'm finding about 30 to 40% of the people prefer not to have the screen. They think it looks nicer. Either way, I've got clients that love either way. This made somebody a great buy right at that $500,000 figure. Now this home here is on a third of an acre, 3,600 square foot of three bedroom, three bath home, built in 80 floor on Albatross Drive out on Sanibel. This is another home that I showed several clients to. It was on my best buy list in that $400,000 to $700,000 range. So at least you know that when you shop with me, I'm going to show you the best buys because every one of the homes that I show my clients to, somebody buys usually within two weeks of showing my clients and this is another one. 
This one is in the dunes on Sanibel. It was a charming three-bedroom, three-bath pool home, sunny south-facing pool area, wraparound screen veranda-style porches, perfect shady spot to enjoy the island breezes. It was a great, great home. It was listed for $4.99, sold for $4.75. Now, this home is on Fort Myers Beach on almost a quarter of an acre. It's a thousand square feet, so it's a small three bedroom, two bath. It was built in, you know, 1954, so an older home, but of course remodeled as you see from these photos. The asking price was $399. It closed for $390,000. Now, this was on the very desirable north end location. This beach cottage offers three bedrooms and two baths, open floor plan, cathedral ceiling, directly across the street from the beach. Let me tell you, you can have morning coffee on your large deck and then take a uh, you know a walk stroll in the morning and get your uh, white sparkling little toes in the sa white sand there it was only steps to the beach and a short walk to Times Square if you're looking for a beach cottage you're not gonna find him any cheaper than 390,000 and no there's no walk to the beach anything anywhere in Southwest Florida under 250,000 there may be a few older style what I call motel condos but that's about it I get emails all the time from people for one or two things either rentals at like fifteen hundred dollars a month annually you won't find them uh, and under 250,000 walk to the beach and simply it's not going to happen unless it's in an older style condominium and that is really the starting price range. This is a, a place, a great place down on Bay Beach Lane in Fort Myers Beach. This is a two bedroom, two bath, a thousand square foot condo. Uh, a great place, this was the penthouse at the Palms of the Bay Beach. Sunrise in the Gulf of Mexico views from all the rooms. It was completely renovated throughout. Large custom designed uh, kitchen cabinets, had the shutters in it the uh, stainless steel and the, the granite and all of that good stuff. It had 18 inch tile on the diagonal throughout. This is walk to the beach access here or bike to shopping and everything. The asking price of this home was $499. It sold for $390,000. Now this home right here was uh, asking price was $289 and it's $89.9 and it sold for full price at $289.9. Now this is a great example. I get people all the time that want to get on the water and this is about the entry level. $250 to $280 is about the entry level and they're going to be the older style homes. This one here was in 1960. It's on Venetian Court. It's a three bedroom, three bath home, 1900 square foot. But this one was all about location. It's a great golf access home. It was newly remodeled on a connection now just a few turns away from the river on this one it had impact doors and windows uh, extra insulation in the attic solar panels and a south facing pool for those people those sun worshipers and sun goddesses among you this was a yacht club beach tennis courts and the fishing pier were only a bike right away from this uh, yacht club area home that sold at 289 folks that's really the starting point for homes down here on the water anymore unless you want fresh water fresh water is going to be a little less but of course you can't get out to the gulf we have three kinds of waterfront properties down here direct access which means no bridges you could have a sailboat we have bridges which is the majority of our property 12 feet at high tide and then we have freshwater canals so not all the canals down here go out to salt water you got to be really careful you got to have a very well educated real estate salesperson that knows the area like the back of our hand and nobody knows it better than us and we'd love to help you out this home is in a downtown Fort Myers high-rise condo that I keep talking about as some of the best values. This is unit 2104 on First Street. Three bedroom, two bath home, 1,600 square foot in the River District. It was built in 2007. The listing price was 245. That's a bargain for a view like that, waterfront right on the river. Absolutely incredible. These were great, great units. This is the 21st floor, so you'll enjoy sunsets right from your lanai, or you could enjoy relaxing by the pool. This one had two parking spaces that came with it, had the diagonal tile, the large lanai facing north and northeast. It's got tennis courts, conference room, the Riviera Club, on and on, plus a free trolley that runs every half hour weekly that runs you to all the downtown events. This home was listed for $245 and it sold for $235. Well, there you have it, folks. There's a tour of everything, or not everything, obviously, 
but of a lot of the homes, a great example, I try to do the whole price range gamut to show you really what people are buying and the prices they're really buying it for. The homes that are down here that are selling are selling at 98%. There, none of them are less than 95% of asking price. There was 117 new listings that came on the market today and 185 homes sold in the last 24 hours. I'll be bringing you the market report here uh, in a little while. Uh, you know, the more the market report, I'm going to be doing my famous 30 page market report that I do for the uh, Board of Realtors and everything to really give you all the ins and the outs. But let me show you this. This is the 24 hour market watch. 145 new listings, 172 homes went pending. That means under contract in the last 24 hours and 118 sold. So as you can see, we're still going backwards in inventory, which makes it a seller's market. Although our prices are still down because there are still a few short sales and foreclosures in the marketplace and interest rates are down, buyers are snatching up properties, as you can see, as fast as they can, and our inventory just can't keep up with it. Well, there you have it, folks. There's a great tour for today. I'm going to be doing a couple tours for you that you're going to be seeing the most overlooked home um, deduction, taxes overlooked deductions that I see, the top six mortgage mistakes, and uh, buying homes are so much cheaper than renting, doing some special reports, and I'm going to have them to you this week. So for now, this is Alan Smith wishing you a warm, wonderful, sunny Southwest Florida day. Bye-bye now.